Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on this particular NECA figure. It is the Bride of Frankenstein from the 1935 movie, The Bride of Frankenstein. It has Boris Karloff, it has Elsa Lanchester, who is actually the Bride of Frankenstein in this movie. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the box art, look at it very close, and then I'm going to shut the camera down for a second, and then pull the figures out, and then we're going to talk about the accessory as well as the figure in itself. Uh, there is some interesting things about this particular figure that we need to talk about, okay? Uh, but all in all, this is what we're going to do right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh uh, shut down the turntable, and then we're going to look at the actual box art, okay? All right. There we go. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera back a bit, and we're going to check out the front of it, Okay. Now, hang on for a second here, make sure this is right. Yeah, this is good, okay. Sorry about the jump in there. But let's pull that back a little bit so you can actually see it. All right, hang on. All right. Yeah, we're just testing this out. The lighting and everything is still a work in progress. I do have a lumens light. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, but I had to turn it so it's so damn bright. Okay, that's the Lumens Light. You can get those at the hardware store. I'm thinking about probably purchasing another one just for lighting purposes. Or actually investing in some kind of lighting for my figures and stuff. But it is a work in progress. So, if the lighting is off a little bit, I apologize. Alright. So, let's check out the side of the box here. And that's Elsa. Okay. NECA. Many different configurations of the bride. Now I'm going to keep her in her original state as you would normally see it in the movie, not the mummy figure, okay? But we are going to be touching base on all that, okay? It's pretty cool artwork here. If you guys ever get into NECA figures and stuff like that, I think got some amazing box art. Just collecting the boxes would be impressive in, in itself. Isn't that cool? There's the top of the box. The bottom of the box. Now let's open up the window. There she is in all her glory. Let me pull that in so you can see it. And there's the figure in itself. Now, sorry about the glare because of the plastic. It's got a decent amount of accessories as well as hands. A bunch of other things here. We're going to pull them out. We're going to play around with them a little bit. So with this in mind, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down real quick. And then we're going to pull this out of the box because it does take a little bit of time to get these out of the box. Be right back. Okay, we're back. We're going to get into the accessories for this particular figure. And then we're going to get into the actual figure in itself. Uh, it is a little different. It's a little smaller than your standard NECA figure. So keep this in mind when I show you this, okay? Let's start off with the alternative head or the other head that it comes with. This is, in fact, her screaming mode. And you can see how accurate and detailed this thing is. Very nice job in the way they did that. Now, you see the little white squiggly lines? They are not symmetrical. It is very accurate to the movie in itself. John Tagmeyer, as well as Louis Bordello, I think his last name is, has pointed it out that it is, you know, pretty much movie accurate. I will leave a link down below uh, for uh, John Tagmeyer's uh, website, as well as Louis's uh, website. And they're called the Bionic Vampire. He's got some really cool stuff. As well as Lewis. He's got a great Frankenstein collection. You might want to check them out if you're into that kind of stuff. But they do have a, a decent amount of stuff. Very unique stuff as well. Alright, I got a little nervous twitch there. That's crazy. Alright. Now, sorry about the lighting. I'm still working on that part. The articulation on his neck piece right here, as you can see, it does move around. Okay, you can switch out the heads as it's got a little square knob on it. You just kind of just pop it in and pop it out. This figure is definitely made different than your other NECA figures. Most of them have ball joints. This one don't, which is a little bit different. Okay, but anyway, that's what the head looks like. Okay. Ah! Yeah, but anyway, let's get into the other head that it comes with. And that is the mummy head uh, when she's first wrapped up and stuff and brought back to life 
Now this movie came out in 1935. It's uh, with Elsa Lanchester. A lot of people want to call her Lancaster. It's not correct. It's actually Lanchester. Okay. She did the actual Bride of Frankenstein along with Boris Karloff doing the actual monster itself. Okay, let's get a little closer on this. Alright, you see the top of the head. Now over here, some significant damage. Okay. But that's the head of the mummy version of it. Okay. It does come with hands. Alright. I got a little nervous twitch in my hand. What's up with that? <laughs> this thing, I do not know what it is. Um, well, let me show you the other hand first. You can switch out the hands. I'm going to keep the ones on there that I have on there. Alright. Comes with two uh, cloth type material straps for the wrist if you go into the mummy versions of it. Alright. Um, these things here just go around the wrist. Okay. The mummy has very similar straps to it to the 1941 mummy, I think it is called, with uh, Boris Karloff. Uh, that one also comes with straps too, but they're more pronounced. Okay. Alright, now, last part, I don't know what this thing is. It looks like part of a face mask because it looks like a nose piece. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comment section below. If I can get this thing to give me the right light. Hang on for a second here. Let's try it this way. Yeah, hang on. Well, you get the idea of what I'm talking about here. My hands are too big to be handling this thing. So I'm not sure what this is for. I'll have to look on the box. It might show it on the box. Okay. All right. But anyway, just let me know in the comment section below if you know what it is, okay? Now the actual figure in itself. Okay. As you can see, the face on this one is a little different. She's more of a calm demeanor to her. Okay. And like I said, with the white stripes, it's most likely where she got electrocuted and, and it zipped right up her hair. But it's very cool the way they did that. But like I said, I haven't seen this movie in ages. Okay. It does come with a cloth type material. Okay. It's very flimsy in nature. It's very soft, almost silky. But it does look cool. The arms are very detailed, very mummy like. Okay. The hands, you can switch them out because they got different um, uh, movements, or not movements, but actual different positions for the hands. You can do that. And the, uh, the arm in itself does move at the shoulder as well as the elbow and the wrist itself. Both sides are the same. The actual legs in this thing, okay, well let me show you the body of it without being too much of a pervert. It is all mummified, okay. The legs move at the hips like most NECA figures, okay, as well as the knees, okay, and in the ankle area where you can reposition the feet so it can stand, okay. Now here's the thing about this uh, particular figure, because it is a smaller figure than your standard NECA figure, as you can see the cloth type ones don't seem to have holes in the bottom of their feet, so you can't use a NECA stand, oops sorry, which is this thing here, but I plan on gluing it on there, but you can make these things stand if you have a solid base to put them on without walking by and they vibrate, it will fall on you because obviously it doesn't have any holes if you want you can probably tap some in there but I wouldn't recommend that but anyway it does stand on its own so just keep that in mind okay I'm gonna put that in the center okay there you go now that's what she looks like right there all right anyway that is the figure in itself again like I said I do like this figure it's very accurate looking it's got great color schemes. Now, Lewis, which I'm going to place the link down below, has a tendency to repaint his. He buys doubles of these things and shows you the before and after of these uh, figures. And some of them look really good when he does do them. Okay. 
but all in all, I don't have a tendency to mess around with them like that. I just put them on the shelf right next to Frankenstein and my other figures. I don't really mess with them too much, except for maybe occasionally, you know, gluing them to their stand so that it doesn't fall for me. Because it's just for display purposes for me. But anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to this particular figure. It is made from uh, NECA. It is a universal classic uh, monster. Uh, just like Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Dracula. I got all those figures now. Slowly took, uh, slowly got, got them. The only one I don't really have are pretty much two of them. That's the Phantom of the Opera. As well as uh, the Invisible Man. I don't have those two. Who knows what the future may bring. But anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it on my Bride of Frankenstein uh, NECA figure. It is smaller than your standard NECA figure. It is just like the uh, cloth ones. I have a, a nun from the uh, Conjuring universe. It's very. It's, it's the same way. It has no holes in the bottom of it. It constantly falls. So I glued it to the stand and I ain't had a problem with it since. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the very next video.